over there, Witcher. You looking for work by any chance? Man needs worries like a boat needs ballast to sail straight and even. Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet her, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's dear it is, but could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. No such thing as bad ships or bad weather. Come back to Richmond. Either way Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kjerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him, once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. And I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. Then the Moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Here, all solved their own problems. Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kivilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. Another victim. For sure. Lair must be nearby. Stench again. 
slime and rotting flesh. A pelvis, scratched up, long white claw marks. Lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Almost untouched, hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Bits of boats, torn sails, lines, sailing decor, you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here. Unless... She coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent. That should do it. Now for a place to hide and wait. Behind those boats. Thank you. 
no such thing as bad ships or bad weather. Only worthless fucking sailors. Job's done. Here's the proof. Now why would I want to see... What the devil's that? Water hag. An old clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in me life. Moorays, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Think I deserve more. Water hag's significantly more dangerous than drowners. Not denying it, but my coin pouch ain't exactly bottomless. Neither is the sea. Plenty more filth ready to crawl up from its bottom. Might need my services again. And I won't stick my neck out for those who skimp on the reward. Extorting protection coin, eh? Take it. Take all I got. And choking it, you bugger. <laughs>